Get ready for an extraordinary experience as you tune into this inspiring sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. The words you are about to hear carry the power to renew your spirit and ignite a fire of faith within you, guiding you to a new level of divine breakthrough. I'm seeing two words written, and the Lord is saying, as soon as I announce that word, all those who have been victims of it, that deliverance fire is coming upon them. Two words. I'm seeing one reproach. I'm seeing one shame. These two words. Right now I stretch my hands. Everyone here. Kabari Katoshia. Bring them out. The power of God is bringing deliverance right now. For individuals and for families. Shame and reproach. That everything that makes for shame. And everything that makes for reproach. It comes under arrest now. There is a lady, there is a mighty deliverance coming for you. You are a foreigner, you are, not a, you are not a Nigerian. You came here in the name of Jesus. I don't know where you are, but let that fire touch you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please play the strings for me. There is an anointing that is breaking business failure right now. This is what I'm seeing. Of course, I know everybody, but there are people who are calling to this, and there are people who there are yokes that are holding their hands down. You will be surprised to see what happens now as I pray. In the name that is above all names, at the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Everyone here involved in business of any sort, and it looks like the devil has held on to you. This is koinonia. This is the house of God. At the count of three, I bring you victory and liberty. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka this is very strange this will be the first time I'm seeing this happen usually when the Lord wants to touch states the map of Nigeria would appear and then a hand will point to me the states that the Lord wants to visit and I'm seeing an anointing and I'm seeing plateau states this is, I'm seeing the anointing just touching and bringing visitation to people. Now, you belong to that region here, the power of God is touching you and then extending to all those who are connected. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. I'm taking in a vision, the same map is open to me, and I'm seeing a hand touch emo stage. Right now, I stretch my hands, emo. Anyone who, help them please. This is a sign and a wonder how God does these things. That all those who are connected to that territory, something miraculous begins to happen. <laughs> Madam, this woman, no, not the back, this one, lifting her hands now, this one. Where are you coming from? Huh? I'm from Abuja here, but I'm from Plateau State. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. You believe that? Yes, sir. What do you do? I work in a non-governmental organization. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. There is an anointing. Leave her, leave her. I'm going to speak to her too. Where are you coming from? Huh? I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? 
the Lord wants to take bad luck from your life. I'm looking at you, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being with no face. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. Let me pray for someone here. If there is anything that has taken away your identity in the realm of the spirit, because you see, your identity is what distinguishes you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be restoration now. Help her, please. Restoration now. In the name of Jesus, this is my sister. I stretch my hands towards you and I pray. May God lift you in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God lift you in a way that will surprise you. There's someone you've been having severe pain who will soon begin to pray for the sick. Severe abdominal pain. This thing started October or November last year and it has not left you. The pain is there. Severe, sharp, severe pain. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Release her now. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And found that. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And found that no one like you, Jesus. No one like you. No one like you. Hey, hey, no one like you. No one like you, Father. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like you. Your faith in God and your faith in the vessel that He uses is the third key that connects you. Third key that connects you supernaturally to the power of God. Now I want to minister deliverance by the power of God. Listen to me. What is deliverance? It's a separation between you and the obstacle. It does not necessarily have to be a spirit. Most times it's a spirit. The gentleman holding the passport, come. Come. Please hurry up. We have to. We have to. Ah. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Where are you coming from? from I want to pray for you. As I saw you lifting that passport, the Lord said, I should use it as a sign to release your entire family. Huh? Where are you from? Not where you are. I'm uh, from Imo State, sir. Imo State. Yes, sir. Lift your hands. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the power and the I stretch my hands, my friend, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. May that anointing come upon you for the sake of your family members. Whether they are following or not, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I bring liberty right now. 
passport is a token that gives access therefore every door that has been closed over you and over your family according to the word of the lord you are given unrestrained access right now in the name of jesus christ now let me pray for you separation most of us like i was sharing when i was giving the charge there are spirits that are back of the many symptoms we call problems the symptoms are there but let me tell you sincerely it is not just the financial problem or the marital problem or the whatever problem most times there are spirits that are back of it jesus said lose hand i mean it um, told the woman who was bound that she should be loose from her infirmity for 18 years when she was loose then he laid hands on her and the healing happened the healing would not happen if the spirit is there so i want to pray for you now you will be surprised that for some of you even before we begin to pray for the sick and let me tell you this when it is time for testimonies testimonies is not only for healing some of you under the anointing here you get up and find out that something has happened to you when it is time for testimonies you can join them too and let's hear what god is doing in your life it's just that there's no time that's why we just limit it to healing miracles alone but there are some of you once you came here you would be surprised that things would just shift like that i hope you came with something as a point of contact tonight remember don't worry a time will come we'll lift it But now I want to pray. For as long as I live, the devil will not find peace. As long as I live in Akane, you have bought me with the price, Ninakane. That as long as I live in Akane, you have all the the price in You know why I sang that song? If I buy something and you come and hold it to take it away, what are you called? One more time, what are you called? If this body belongs to the Lord and another spirit wants to come and cohabit, Deliverance is simply asking the landlord to claim ownership. Landlord, rest upon your property so that everything that is not you, when you see empty houses that are unoccupied, people can come and squat there temporary. But when the owner of the house comes and he wants to find his place, every squatter will go out. I want to pray for you now. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. And as you shout that name, please, I want you to help those under the anointing and then bring them out. We are going to be very fast here. There are spirits sitting on the destinies of men. There are spirits responsible for disfavor, responsible for wickedness. There are spirits responsible for all kinds of atrocities. We want to bring them under arrest now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare by the anointing that breaks the yoke, by the Spirit of grace, every family here represented, all our viewers following from across the globe, following from your homes, if there be any entity that is not of the Christ, causing all kinds of problems, as you shout that name, Make sure you shout it, those who are following from your homes everywhere, that the power of God right here on ground and through the airways will rest upon you and bring that permanent separation. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, my God. Three, shout Jesus. Release their destinies now. Please bring them out. Release them now. 
release your destinies now. Powers of witchcraft. Powers in the air. Territorial spirits. Sitting upon the destinies of men. Bring them out very quickly. In the name of Jesus. We arrest you now. We arrest you now. We arrest you now. We arrest you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just help the ushers. I'm sure their hands are limited. Whether you are an usher or not, someone is under the anointing. You can do well to just help them bring them to the front so that we'll save time. We are still going to pray. There are families under all kinds of yokes. You will still shout that name again. This time around, not just for yourself, but for everyone connected to you. So that even if they could not make it for your sake. Are you ready now? Father, visit families. May your fire and your anointing burn off altars that are speaking against the glorious destinies of families. At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. We set altars on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, we set yokes on fire. Let them go. Let them go. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let them go. Open your mouth in one minute and begin, begin to declare your release. I declare liberty in the name of Jesus will never be a victim of any orchestration of foundation, yokes of darkness, manipulations of witchcraft. If someone pray, release your children, release your destiny. Please pray. Release your ministry. Release your business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me two families. You are from Kogi State. The Lord is taking away the spirit of death. I'm seeing this, my God. Parakatosia, wherever that family is, represented in whoever, whichever individual is here, I command that sword of death to be averted from your family now. Ah, 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 ah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the day, your name is to be hallowed. Hallelujah. Now I'm seeing there is someone you've been trusting God for a visa to meet with your spouse abroad, and you've not been able to have that visa. This has been for a while. Is do we have someone like that here? It's time for you to go now. Come. Please make sure you verify. Spouse, spouse, spouse. Give this man the mic. Let me. Do, how long? Three years. You've not seen your wife? Yes. Where is she? She's in Poland. And I came here for a visa. And I was denied. Ah, 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 ah.
Where are you coming from, sir? Huh? Lagos. Lagos. Yes, sir. Your spouse? My spouse is now in US. Your cousin? My wife is in US. Is in US. Yes, sir. And you've not been allowed to go and meet her. Yes, sir. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying if you are looking for a visa, it's good for us to listen. We're in a prophetic atmosphere. So please make sure you understand what we're saying. Spouse means someone you are married, you are married to that you help, help her now. Your name is to be hallowed. Madam, this woman, please tap her for me. You believe in miracles? Lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I want to pray for you. Listen, the Bible says the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord. And like the wave of the sea, God will toss it here and there. It is not spirits and angels that are in the visa offices. They are human beings. And in as much as they have a modus operandi, let me tell you, God is able to show mercy and to grant you grace. We are not praying here as a way of downplaying the due process. No, we are people of order. But I am telling you that God is able to step in. And many of you will be surprised. Who is doing an appeal? You are the one doing an appeal. Your paper is behind Your here. paper is there. Go and bring it. I want to pray on it. Your name is to be honored. Now let me pray for all of you in the name of Jesus. Two of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. This is, I saw something that just came from the earth into you. And the Lord is saying it must leave. Two of you among those standing here, I stretch my hands. I don't know what demonic thing came from whose village for whatever reason. But in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, it must let you go now. Two of you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Please help that woman so she doesn't fall with her child. Out of her now! Out now! Ah, 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 ah. Lift this man up for me. Sir, look at me. Where are you from? I'm from Lagos. State of origin? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family that loves you. The kind of witchcraft I'm seeing on you. Because I'm seeing you inside a coffin. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not even, it's not even that somebody from the realm of... I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who is already here. And I'm seeing the month of July. You are on your way towards Auchi. And I'm seeing an accident. Yet the thing has already finished. I stand by the God of heaven who called me. And I decree and declare right now. Oh death, hear the word of the Lord. Let him go now. I command that spirit. Help him. Out of him. Now. If there is anyone here, the pronouncement of death or a programming upon your life, you are walking, but already it looks like you've been finished from the realm of the spirit. We have been given authority even over the grave. Right now, I pray. Anyone here appointed unto death, be delivered from death now. Can I surprise you? The person who will help you is here now. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord show you mercy. I'll leave it at that. Go. Now for all of you, in the name of Jesus, ah, please don't be embarrassed. The Lord is giving me a very serious 
God bless you. I pray for you. Please, you can go back. Now, there is something serious I want to pray for now. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. But there is someone here. There is a spirit that is not, you are not a bad person. But when this spirit comes on you, you can steal anything, even if it's inside the bank. You are not a, a, you are not a wicked person. This is an addiction you have fought and fought and fought. It's not like you're a criminal. But this thing has brought you embarrassment. I want to pray for that person now. I usually would not. I would just ask you to save yourself and sit down somewhere. But I want to pray for that person. Please, if you're here, don't waste our time. God wants to bring you deliverance now. This addiction of stealing. You came here sincerely and it's in your heart. Come and stand, though. Let's appreciate them as if there's someone like that coming. Praise the Lord. Please, when you identify them, allow them, if they are coming from outside this place, let them come to stand. I want to pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Can be male or female. When it has to do with demons, it doesn't matter whether you are... Please. God bless you, my dear brother. You are not the only one. I want to pray. This is a family of faith. In fact, hold on. Let me use the opportunity right now. This is a family of faith. And I'm not going to mention any particular thing, but if you are a victim of any kind of addiction, any kind, addiction is something that has control over you. When it comes upon you, you have no control until it destroys you. Come and stand here right now, quickly. God wants to set you free. Quickly, please come and stand. God bless you. Anything at all. Addiction is destroying people. Don't sit back there. You know that this is your chance. Come and stand before Jesus. And while you stand, be praying. Don't just be looking at me. Please hear me. You don't have to come. If you have a child, you should... If you are the one who is, who is the victim of this, please come. The Lord will be setting you free. But if you are standing for someone, maybe your spouse or a child or whatever, please just sit where you are for the sake of space. Move forward small, those of you in front. They are, so, are, you, are you seeing? Look at this. Now, this is not to condemn them. Listen, my, my beloved people, look at me. We are a family that loves Jesus and loves you passionately. It is the job of the church to build and to help. So there is nothing to be embarrassed about. Just make sure that as you are coming, you are really sincere to be free. Quickly come. Addictions, my God. Listen, please look at me. Let me explain to you something. Listen carefully. Our viewers around the world and then you who is here. Please, if you are following also online and you are a victim of any kind of addiction, this is your chance to connect. All those people coming from where now? Please, um, if, if, the, if the hall is full, they can just stand where they are or... If, okay, those who are already inside, they can just stand in the straight line there. And then others can stand in front of their LEDs. It's the same effect. If not, this place will soon be rowdy. Let's just take it easy. Please, protocol, be easy with them so that no one... People, you see, these precious people are coming because they are tired. Can I tell you, counseling can only go so far in helping addictions. Drunkenness, masturbation, pornography, every kind of thing. They are spirits. And let me tell you the truth. It is not about being good or bad. It's about being a victim of wicked spirits. These spirits are territorial. 
I'm sorry to say it, but most of them come from social media. Most of them come from movies that sometimes we just expose our spirits in the name of westernization and we pack all kinds of demonic luggages. You gather 10 people and I can tell you 7 out of every 10 people are suffering addictions. But can I tell you, you came here for a miracle service. Because some of you, let me tell you what happens. Look up please. Let me teach you how these spirits work. You see, the moment a great door is about to open, that urge comes. And the moment, whether it is drunkenness, whatever, that door is closed forever. Ah, 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 ah. Hallelujah. Hold on. There is, there is one person here, you inject yourself. Who is that? Let me see your hands. Like, I'm seeing a syringe. Now, I don't know if the injection with what, but I don't know if it's inside. Or, don't be afraid. Who is that? I'm seeing something that has to do with a syringe. Who is that? Help this lady. I hope she's not falling under the anointing. Like a syringe, like giving yourself shots of injection, literal injection. I don't know what you are injecting. There are people who snuff this thing they use to fix tire of car. What is it called? Huh? Now, do you think any right thinking human being with his brain will go and bend down to snuff that thing? It's a spirit. Now, do you know why? This is a lesson to the body of Christ. Most of these people you see have at least one Christian near them. But this our obsession for condemnation is why people just keep quiet and suffer in silence. Nobody wants to be stigmatized and to be made. You think these people standing are wicked people? Some of them are more sincere and honest than most people you know. Until the body of Christ returns to the place of love, genuine love, we will keep losing our people to Satan. Let me tell you, all of you who are standing here, I want you to know that number one, I love you sincerely. And number two, you will be delivered now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand. Repeat this prayer after me loud. And at the end of it, I'm going to pray for you. Those standing anywhere at all. And then those outside, those maybe addictions following. Um, respectfully speaking, I know that many of our Western people who are connecting... Please don't think because you are in America or Europe, a spirit is a spirit. Addiction is addiction. And you can open, Mama, you can stand in for your child. Parents, you can stand in for your loved ones. Say after me, Father, have mercy on me. Say it again, Father, have mercy on me. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare as an act of my will that the spirit responsible for this addiction by my God-given authority, I choose life, I choose freedom from that spirit. Therefore, from tonight, I declare my liberty in Jesus' name. Get ready. The power of God is coming on you right now. At the count of three, Satan, you had your confession. The Bible says, For with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. They have declared their liberty. At the count of three, every spirit responsible for any kind of addiction, at the count of three, go now. One. Two, three, go, go, go. Out of their destiny. Out of their destiny. Parakatos I break that addiction. Go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every altar servicing that addiction. In the name of Jesus, I come against you now. Anything you cannot control has become a God over you. 
be free now. Be free now. Now look at me. Just two instructions to help you. For those of you who have listened to my teaching on the mystery of deliverance, there are three stages to total deliverance. And I'll be, I'll be teaching you. We'll soon get into the series. Number one is freedom from the spirit influence that is back of whatever issue of concern. Number two is called deliverance through transformation. That means your mind has to be exposed to renewal. And then number three is called the discipline of conformity. You have a role to play. Say for instance, if yours is drunkenness, and then you still go back to the bar, chances are excellent that when you see all your friends and colleagues, and you see those bottles of beer sweating in the cold, brought out of uh, 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 the freezer, you will go back in, in, in that thing again. Can I tell you? Change your friends. Did you hear what I said? Ch don't insult anybody, but change your friends. Some of you, you don't have one good friend. One good friend. A friend to a thief is what? Are we together? So I beseech you by the message of God. Now that you have received this, please be grounded in the house of God. Go to Koinonia Global. You can get the teachings. Listen to them for your renewal. This is, not, this is a battle for your destiny. Number two, you can on Tuesdays, our prayer department meets at the DOA. Uh, you can, whether you are a member of prayer band or not, you can come even if it's just for two weeks and come and stretch with them and learn and allow the spirit of grace to help you in the name of jesus christ there's someone among you people standing here you are soon going back to your seat but there's somebody that god needs to deliver from anger you can use your physical hand and kill when you are angry it's not you it's a spirit it's about to leave you now don't worry you don't have to tell me you are the one if you are the one the anointing will look for you now huh anger like i'm not talking of just this rage you literally can hold a human being and until that person dies you will not leave him it's not normal remember what i taught you right now every wicked spirit male or female i don't care what every spirit of anger can i tell you look at this look at this listen do you know when people come to me for counseling or they are ready to get married before I start asking them any question, the first thing is proper deliverance from these things. When you marry somebody, you are marrying everything they came with. The assignment of a man of God is to help you edit those wicked things before you get into your home. That's why you see men who can get angry and tear their wives into pieces and say sorry and do it again. Or you can see a woman who will carry hot water from the, from the pot and put and spray it on her husband and say sorry and do it again. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of anger, not just for those who are out here, but for everyone here. If there is anyone who is a victim of the spirit of anger, right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now! In the name of Jesus. Now please, let's be patient and appreciate them as they quickly return to their seats. Please, let there be... Huh? The person injecting himself, who is that? This lady? Oh my God. Let the rest go, let she can stay. Please stay, darling, I'll pray with you right now. Eh? The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those under the anointing can stay. Please, the rest... If you are moving, please move quickly. We are still we are about to pray for the sick now. Is someone seeing what God is doing in this place this night? Your name is to be alone. Where are you from, my dear? From Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. 
You believe that Jesus can set you free? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Whatever spirit makes you to inject yourself, as painful as injection is, so you can see. It has to be a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, please look at me. Don't feel bad. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command now that spirit and that influence, it leaves you forever. Is someone agree with me over this lady? You see, the secret, hold on please, and, and we teach this in, in the school of ministry. One of the secrets of ministering effectively is to put yourself in the shoes of people. It's called compassion. Compassion fuels the anointing. If you, are, if, you are, if, if you imagine that this is your sister or your daughter or your wife or your relative, then compassion will well up within you. For as long as you think this is some stranger somewhere, she's from a do state and I am here from another place, you will not be able to help people that way. In the name of Jesus, as the house of God, we declare you free. As the house of God, we declare you delivered. We will never lose you to Satan. The Lord is showing you mercy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Let's pray for the sick now. Let's pray for the sick. Please look up. Why is the healing ministry important? Let me teach you something very quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. Why is the healing ministry important? I will tell you why. Because... Every man is spirit. Please look up. Man is spirit. And every spirit resides legally. If it is to function in the earth here, it resides in a body. Are we together? And for as long as you have a body, you have the legitimate ground, the authorization to function within the earth. Whatever deteriorates your body, to a point where it no longer becomes functional is administering death to you because there is a threshold level of health that your body must have for your spirit to be able to safely reside within it are we together now the assignment of satan is to ultimately lead you to that point of separation by deteriorating your health condition it can come in any form so when your health is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, what happens to you? Satan now ensures that your body is separated from your spirit. So every time we minister healing, it is a way of preserving your life. So that you will have that body to be able to serve the purposes of God. He says, a body has thou prepared for me. Are we together? Except through understanding, as you age and as time passes because of the wear and tear of this body, naturally, medical people begin to tell us that you will begin to see certain things. And I have found out that about the most common of these things for men, prostrates, high blood pressure, uh, what do we call it again, paralysis, and all these things, um, what do we call this sickness where your mind is not coordinated again? You start forgetting things and all of that. You see that now. And then, of course, women, it comes as all kinds of things. But I want you to make up your mind. I know there are doctors here. I respect you and I respect whatever it is that you have studied. I want you to believe that the Word of God becomes the definition for your life. For as long as you start believing some of these things, they subliminally start programming you. I am 50 now. I expect enlarged prostrate. And the devil says, you are, thank you for welcoming it. And you receive it by faith. Are we together? You have a right to reject anything at all that is not of God. Reject it. And stand with faith and in faith. Why am I saying this? So that when we are praying for the sick, you don't say, since my own condition does not necessitate admission in the hospital, I am fine. Remember what I taught you about the devil? The moment he tests you and you allow him unrestrained, he will move further to bring another version of that thing. 
So right now that I want to pray for the sick, please, I want you to release your faith that anything that does not represent God's design for you as revealed in Scripture, it is time for it to leave. Is someone in agreement? Please rise up on your feet. While that is happening, how many of you have your prayer requests here? All the overflows to the basement, outside, those following online. Now, we'll do two things at the same time. Number one, is our ushers to be collecting the prayer requests now. What I want you to do, please still write. If there are things you need to write, I'll give you one minute very quickly. You want to add something, your faith has been enlarged, and you still want to add one or two things, write it down quickly, and then pass it. May I request that you pass it to someone, maybe by your left and right. Let there be one person who has it. Nobody will read your request. Just pass it for ease. Ushers, please, you can begin to walk around very quickly so that we'll collect it. If you're still writing, just take a minute or two and write, believing the Lord to step in for you. You heard what the Lord did in the life of our dear one who testified, writing something in the prayer request. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Very quickly, very quickly, medical reports, terminal situations, unfavorable conditions for you, your children, parents, spouse, company, business, church. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing but in everything. So there is nothing that should be left out of the scope of prayer. In everything. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your request be made known unto God. Let your request be made known unto God. Be anxious for nothing. Philippians chapter 4, we start reading from verse 6. You find that, and it says, and the peace of God will garrison your heart and your mind. Very quickly. Now, I want to pray for the sick. Listen. I have seen the healing power of Jesus. I was so touched by the testimony of our dear sister. Look, the miracle that Jesus did for her husband. Literally. From the dead. And then correction. Brand new organs. The mighty God is able to do this. I want to pray for you now. Hallelujah. Now please, lay your hands. Why do I ask you to lay your hands as a point of contact? It's a way of releasing your faith. Before God stepped in, we're talking about the three components that must be present to create an atmosphere of the supernatural. One is passion for God and complete surrender. Number two, we agreed that the second key that I wrote here is deep, heartfelt worship. Number three is faith. Now you are about to exercise your faith. I hope you know that faith is simply obedience. Obedience to the word of God, obedience to the demands that commit God to your life. Without action, you are not walking by faith. It's as simple as that. Faith is more than confession. Faith is more than believing. Faith is your action. Now here's what I want you to do. We are not going to take too much time. The moment I begin to pray for you, others, as you fell under the power of God, miracles began to happen to you, all kinds of supernatural connect, cor um, corrections. Do you know why we ask people to come out when they are healed? It's not just to show that the man of God is powerful. No. You see. It, it, with all humility, at, at this point in ministry, there is nothing to prove again. God has honored himself beyond contention. But the goal is, in coming out to testify, three things happen. Number one, you help the people to see the power of God on display truthfully. Number two, it acts as a seal to what you have done. Are we together? The Bible says, we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word. Yes. The word of your testimony is part of the weapons of your overcoming. So, I'm going to pray for you right now. 
all the overflows outside following all our viewers across the globe as i pray for you right now immediately i want you to begin to send in your testimonies for those of you who are out outside of uh, the local environment and for those who are here the moment i ask you to come out to come and testify do not be afraid do not be ashamed i want you to come out we'll take a few testimonies then we'll pray over re the requests and i prophesy into your life are you ready now please lay your hands and begin to pray one minute jesus step in for me with your mercy over whatever condition it is mention it please pray don't tolerate anything that does not look like jesus i'm beginning to lose hearing don't tolerate it i'm suffering the issue of blood don't tolerate it i'm beginning to have whatever symptoms don't tolerate it it looks like i'm having heart palpitations breathing problems don't tolerate it lumps all over my body don't tolerate it talk to jesus jesus step in step in over my life step in over my destiny hallelujah hallelujah in one of the visions that i had as God began to release me into the ministry, I saw I was in a place and it was like the hospitals were closed. It was like a curfew. But then there were people lying down, some sick, some lifeless, you know, just littered across an open space. And I was outside and I saw them. I felt very, very terrible and irritated by their conditions. And they were looking up to me and it was in the night and it looked like these people were hoping that I would do something and I heard a voice that voice spoke to me and it said to heal them and that is why what opened me up to the healing ministry I really believe in the power of Jesus to heal I believe I believe he heals he heals he healed yesterday he's healing now and he will heal forever the healing ministry is one of the cardinal components that puts the power of god on display are you ready now let's pray the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, Jesus. Something is happening here. I'll sing it one more time. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you. I was given an example about this enlarged prostrate, but it's not just an example. The Spirit of God is ministering to me that He's healing someone of that condition right now. Is beginning to happen to you this thing happened from when you were around 55 it started all of the symptoms that show an enlarged prostrate in the name of Jesus be healed now I stretch my hands and I decree and declare everyone here who has any blood condition you've seen Jesus change genotypes here You've seen Jesus remove all kinds of things from your blood. Every stranger in your blood that should not be there. In the name of Jesus, I flush them out now. I flush them out now. Be healed right now. 
migraine headaches the lord is healing migraines very severe migraine be healed now every damaged organ in your body we declare a brand new organ now the pelvic area for someone you've had severe severe pain in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is bringing you life and healing right now please believe it you are receiving something right now in the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions for one of you you are just beginning to see its symptoms of, of, of a very severe eye problem and for others it's been there for a while it does not matter how long I command eyes be open now honestly I'm sensing a very very strong anointing there's someone your chest your chest that demonic thing around your chest I declare be released from it now this is this is not like you have fever but many times your tongue just tastes bitter very very bitter for reasons you do not know and the moment that thing happens it comes with ill health it looks like a, a severe case of typhoid but you've treated it is return you've treated it is return is a demonic thing right now i stretch my hands be healed in the name of jesus christ every blood condition i'm repeating it again hiv in the name of jesus be healed now hepatitis be healed now sugar diabetes be healed now severe waist pain the lord is healing severe waist pain in the name of jesus christ there's someone i don't know what it is at this side of your neck as soon as i'm done praying i want you to check yourself you will see that a miracle has happened right now let that demonic growth leave you now there is someone you are not in the main auditorium but you are losing your teeth i've prayed over this kind of condition before something is happening and it's like your your teeth your gums or whatever is weakening and if you have been pulled out already and i'm seeing that more of it is it's like it's weak the power of god right now is bringing you healing and restoration now anyone who is on crutches anyone who is using an aid to walk i declare life and strength to your limbs now be healed in the name of jesus christ every deafness partial deafness total deafness i command that ear to be opened now someone there is like a growth in your throat but it's inside it's not like thyroid but i don't know what it is it looks like it, it it looks to me from what i'm seeing like it's a boil but it's inside you with severe pain not it, it looks like tonsillitis but it's not tonsillitis wherever you are right now as i'm praying the power of god is resting upon you now in the name of jesus christ every joint pain hear the word of the lord i declare be healed now now every other situation whether i mentioned it or not in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you inside outside everywhere i bring you life and healing in jesus name life and healing in jesus name life and healing in jesus name I want you to check yourself right now everywhere check yourself I want us to celebrate miracles for a few minutes check yourself the moment you find out that something has happened to you now or as at the time I was praying my God I'm seeing people coming out celebrate them very quickly you find out that a miracle has happened please I want you to be bold walk to the front right now and there will be people here to receive you. Let's take a few testimonies. 
Please, very quickly. Koinonia, is this what you are doing? Is this the best you can do? Check yourself very quickly. Miracles are happening right now. Do what you couldn't do before. Stretch, stand, walk. Let someone speak over you. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing here? I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. Lord, I believe. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. You're the Son of God. One more time. We believe. Say, yes, Lord. We believe. Jesus is bringing miracles. We Hallelujah. Are we ready? Yes, sir. God bless you. All right. Please listen very carefully to these testimonies. Hallelujah. Whilst you are listening, the power of God is also touching you. And those of you who have received miracles from across the globe, do well to send in your testimonies immediately. We'll have a few testimonies and then you'll be done. Now, very quickly, go ahead. So, Apostle, this sister here has had migraine for like five years. Migraine. And what happened to you now? Praise the Lord. I, I came with a very severe headache, which is, I'm very used to it. So I came and I was like, maybe it has started again. I went to the restroom to watch my eyes because of, yes. I had all things iron in my And skin. what happened now? I went to collect my stomach. But when, during the service, I felt a cold sensation in my body. Yes. And everything else. Completely gone. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Jesus. So, sir, interestingly, you mentioned the case of yes, my brother, yes, particularly sir. for this lady when you were praying for her, and she has an amazing testimony to share with Go her. ahead, yes, please. Praise God. When Papa was praying for a woman that had a fibroid, and I was down there, I fell onto the anointing, and later I, I was checking myself since then, and I, did, there is a swollen here before, but. Oh, there, after, there was a swelling. Yes, you could feel it yes. right now. No, Check it. I, 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 I tried ch- I was trying to press my stomach to see if I can see that soul. It's, it's gone. Are you are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. Came with, with an evident swelling and now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So for the past three, four days now, I've been having serious pain. Inside my throat. Okay. I can't, whenever I'm sweating any saliva, saliva, I feel serious pain. So I had to visit the pharmacist. They gave me this thing to be taken. Yes. From time to time. And I have a tablet too. But immediately you just called that. I felt this. I see something. Something just. There. And I swallowed saliva. I had to swallow saliva. I had to take one of these, put it in my mouth before I could feel it. And right now, I feel better. in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit, yes. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with high defects. Hers is like astigmatism. She couldn't look at bright light, but now she could look at light. My, you couldn't look at bright light? For how long? Um, it's two years now. Uh huh. Yes. And right now, I can you can look at this light, yes, and it has no effect on you. My goodness. Are you celebrating Jesus? Complete healing for you right now. Yes, please. Very quickly. Severe back pain for the past one year. You couldn't bend down, but now you could bend down, bend my down friend. comfortably. And bend down. Any pain. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. You gave word of knowledge of those with severe chest pain. Our mommy has had it for about some years now, but now. Mama, how four long, years how long has it been? Like four years. Four years. Yes. Sometimes it blocks. Uh, it's like there's something there. So sometimes when I'm eating, it sort of chokes. And what happened to you now? I can't feel that. Completely. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain. Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing in the life of our mother. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Pastor Jakes. Yes, go ahead, sir. So, Apostle, medical thing were actually very fine and interesting. Okay. Testimony. Yeah? Wow. Please come. So, she had, she suffered a stroke. A stroke? Yes, sir. And amazingly, God touched her. What happened, my dear? What's your name? And Good evening, sir. My name is Abby. 
whilst the woman was giving the testimony about her husband who had At somebody least, can, can you amplify the volume technical help us with the volume i um, said to myself i said her own is more than mine that means i can get my healing and whilst i was sitting there i started moving my legs it, it How was, did you come here? I, I can move, but I always felt the okay. small, small yes. thing. And then on my lips as well, it, it's numb. It was numb. Your and lips? Then, yes. And then whilst you were praying, my head, if I held my head like this and shake it, it would ache like it was very heavy. But as you prayed, there was a cold sensation. And even as I My dear, look at me. Look, she's even surprised. Walk. Walk as fast as you can. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Name above, say, name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? Can you imagine? The devil would have just destroyed the life of this lady. My dear, she's surprised. Look at this. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, we agree with you. That devil goes now. Never to return. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, Apostle, again, Mama here has been experiencing severe pain. Aside from her finger, then it actually moved into other locations. Are you seeing what God is doing now? Yes. Mama, what happened to you? I told God today to give me a first time miracle. Even here. Yeah, I took paracetamol here today while sitting when I came to You morning. took paracetamol here? Yes, sir. Yes. And now I'm not feeling any. Check yourself. Check yourself. Look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord will honor you and perfect everything that concerns you. In Jesus' name I pray. Are you ready? Go ahead. Oh my God. Look it's at might, this. There's a mighty miracle here. Look she, at this. She was supported. She couldn't walk. She was supported to come here. My dear, but the power look at me. God talked her since last year. Oh, uh, look, look how the lady is. My dear, look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that spirit. I lose you right now. Let her try. Look at me. She was headed here. She couldn't walk. She couldn't walk? Yes. Walk. Walk. Apostle, this is our mother. Oh, this is her mother? Yes, sir. Mama, what is... Are you her mother? She, yes, she was beside for uh, uh, this one was with you on Friday. What happened to her? Just like that, she fell down. Does this thing look just like that? Every power masquerading as circumstances to plague your life. In the name of Jesus, I curse it now. Look at how the devil wants to destroy the destiny of this precious lady. Just like that? No. Stretch your hands towards her as the house of God in one minute. Let's declare perfection over this miracle. Lord, this that you have begun. This lady will not die. This lady will not die. This lady will not die. In the name of Jesus, whatever is wrong, we bring correction and perfection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Very quickly. There are two cases of swollen hands. She said last year, since she gave birth, her hand got swollen. And Let me hear her. What happened to you? Straight to the point, madam. Okay, Apostle, I gave birth last year, December 13th. So my hand began to swell up gradually. And then. Your hand? Yes. This place is. Uh huh. Uh huh. Begin to swell up. And then I could not move it very well. And then if I move, I have this severe. Pain. And right now. And right now, I receive. Move it. Look at this. Since she gave birth, she could not move her hand. My dear, in the name of Jesus, you are healed and you are perfected. By the power of the Holy Spirit, affliction will not rise the second time. In Jesus' name. See, another case of swollen hand to heal by the power of God. What happened to you? I came back from work on Friday. Nothing happened to my hands. My hands started paining me. I could not sleep in the night. Yes, this night too, I could not sleep. But immediately I stepped down here. 
I could bring down my hand. I could use it to stretch myself. Raise it down. up. Bring it down. Raise it up. Any pain. You are perfected right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, God has touched another mama. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. So, mama came in from Joss. And she actually said she actually came in. She was taking some drugs. And I think I'll... What I'll happened to you, ma? I had uh, pains. West pain and then uh, abdominal pains. When you were praying, I was having severe pains. I even took my drug when I was inside my car, coming from Joss. But when you were praying, after the prayer... It's said, gone now. It's Check gone yourself. Gone. Any pain. Any Completely. Pain. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen and amen. Who is ready? Yes. So we, we have this brother that had pain. I have abdominal pain. It has been long. It come up and stop. But when you are praying for someone that has abdominal pain, so I get in and hold my hand on my smoke. But and right now, it's gone. Yes. It will never return to you again. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with prostrate enlargement. Now the power of God is breaking out here to the Father in any group. Prostrate. So the Trust difficulty me. in the urination. So immediately you pray that prayer. He called his brother and he asked the brother and the father to go and he instead. And now the father is jumping, healed, but jumping powerfully. Where? Healed. Where is that? In Enugu. Enugu state. Enugu state, yes. My yes. goodness. I, sent, I brought all their prayer requests and I submitted it just now. But while they were praying, after the prayer, I called my, my mom and I told my dad to try and use himself. And he told me he's feeling ease. And just now, my brother just called and told me that he's jumping up. He's been healed. Enugu State, in the name of Jesus, let there be a supernatural miracle. Perfection in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Let's see if we can take two more or three more and then we'll just pray. I'm, I'm really interested in this prayer request. Yes. You gave word of knowledge of cases of ulcer. He ulcer. had it for two years now. The power of God came upon him. The pain disappeared. So he went to the medical personnel to check it and now the ulcer symptoms are gone. In the name of Jesus, place your hand on your chest. I decree and declare right now. Let there be perfection for you. It will never return in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, a very interesting miracle here. Um, so, let's hear you first. Sir, he's lived with migraine headaches for seven years. He got used to it. I May you been... never get used to wicked and evil and difficult things. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I've yes. been passing through this headache for more than seven years. My, I call it my normal sickness. Like yesterday, I, I live my life like that. Headache is normal to me. But I was here sitting down. I was feeling it small. So I didn't feel it again. And also in my jail tree, I fell down from a tree. Hit my waist and You fell down from a tree? Yes, sir. And I can't like bend down. Throughout last year, I couldn't do any serious. Bend problem. down now. If I should bend down for like five minutes, I'll start shivering. Bend down I, now. I try to bend down and I still feel myself. There is nothing. Oh my God. And just when I was having difficulty, at times my breath will start like it will cease. I complain to my parents, like, at times my breath will, will just stop. And, and right now you are healed. Amen. I declare perfection for you in Amen. Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, uh, Apost let's see. Apostle, in summary, you migraine, back pain, head pain, all of them healed by the power of the Most High. Okay. Now, let, let me just stretch my hands. You know. I love seeing elderly people healed. They deserve peace in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. We'll take so one Apostle, or two more we here. need to hear this. Yes, sir. Please come. So you gave an accurate word of knowledge regarding a lady with, you know, feeling bitter taste in her yes. tongue. Yes. Absolutely. Who is that? Amazing. Okay. Um, Whenever I got a new job, I usually feel bitter man. Um, Whenever I got a job, okay. I'll feel bitter mouth, and all of a sudden I'll feel sick and I'll lose the job. And it happened to me this week. You see what we are saying? Very demonic situation. This is not an issue of sickness. What happened to you now? 
I'm, I'm completely. Everything you have lost, let there be a restoration for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a restoration for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. So, Apostle, here several cases of migraine and, you know, healing. Migraine. I'm seeing the doctor is dragging one lady here. It's like she wants us to hear her testimony. Oh, glory to Jesus. I was blind, but now I'm healed. Straight to the I point. I am healed. I, I could not use these eyes. These eyes. To see anybody from far. It's Which like one? This one. How long? It's due to diabetes. For the past three years. But it happened like a year now. I can't oh. read. I can't see anybody. Yes. But today, I could see you from the screen from where I sat down. I can close my eyes and I can close, see Close the one that was walking. Yes, this is the one that is walking. And I could read from what? this. Don't this worry. Time. What can you see? I can see four. Hallelujah! Five! Your complete hands. I can see. I can only see. What can you see? Two fingers. Thank you, Jesus! What can you see now? I can see three. Four! Five! Thank you, Jesus. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto me. Can I tell you, losing your eyes is not a good thing. Believe me, believe me. Losing your eye is not a good thing. There were miracles that Jesus would heal one and leave the rest, but not blindness. When he saw blindness, he insisted that their eyes were opened. In the name of Jesus, we agree with you Thank as the you house Jesus. of God. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection for you. You go back and you live a normal life with Thank joy. You, this is what you get for coming to the house of God. In Jesus' name. And diabetes, by the way, you said it. We, 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 we cause that spirit right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Uh, for the sake of time, we may not be able to take all one by one, but can I agree with you? For all of you who have received miracles in the name of Jesus, it remains permanent with you. And I decree and declare there will be no resurgence of those illnesses and those issues of concern. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. All the overflows, just stretch your hands. We are praying right now. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare our global family i'm praying over the request now i believe in the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession when we pray like this is because we believe in the god that can hear and can act unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come i want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare that in the name of jesus i receive answers by faith i receive answers by faith to everything that i've written here for those of you who came in um, and, and brought requests for your loved ones go ahead and, and release your faith in the name of Jesus Christ are you praying all the overflows you are praying now Lord step in do the impossible do the impossible Remember the last component, faith. Release your faith. God is doing miracles right now.
Hallelujah. For as long as I live, I will never stop interceding over the desires of God's people. Because I know that we serve a God who answers prayers. Are we together? I want you to believe in every declaration that we'll be making here. It is not, we're not acting. This is not just some show. Believe me, you will get answers to this request. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this request. And I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. Every spirit that is back of these tragedies, we declare, let judgment come upon them now. In the name of Mike, that is working. Praise the Lord. Okay, thank you. For those of you who have put timing, timing to your requests, in the name of Jesus, it will not delay by a day. Let me repeat it again. If you have put timing on your request, I prophesy to you, it will not delay by one day. Whoever has vowed that this request will not be answered, in the name of Jesus, we overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. And we give you what is rightfully yours. Every system and every structure that needs to come under the influence of the Spirit for this request to be answered, we put pressure on them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon this prophetically and I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never be an issue of concern for you again. The Lord gave us an instruction to come with any point of contact. Lift it up now. If you came with any point of contact, your credentials, your whatever it is. Now, this is not ritual. We are doing this based on the understanding that we are bringing a token, a point of contact. Whatever, you can lift your hands if there's nothing. In your home, whatever. Anything that is a point of contact. Please believe. Believe in prophetic instructions. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. I stretch my hands over these points of contact, whether it is your credentials, whether it is your employment letter, whether it is your, your business, whatever, whether it is a court case, whether it is a summon from the court. Whether it is a real estate project, a project with institutions, systems, and structures. Whether it is papers for your ministry, papers for travels. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Prophetically, I lay my hands on every one of these contacts. And I declare, I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you. I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you. The Bible says, for everyone that asketh, receive. To him that seeketh, he shall find. And to him that knocketh, the door shall be opened. Every closed door over these things lifted. I stand by the power of the prophetic and I command those doors to be opened now. <laughs> Hear me? For some of you, after this service, they will call you. And by that call, you will know you have stepped into a new season. Everyone lifting 
your credentials by faith trusting god for a job in the name of jesus christ we shift every space that needs to be shifted and we create space for you for all those who are holding legal documents in the name of jesus if there be anything against you we plead mercy and if anyone is lifting a medical report or anything of that sort in the name of jesus christ for you or for whoever you are standing in for let there be a testimony now i declare those documents anointed i declare them graced may they produce results for you I unto the Lord, reveal your glory in my life as the power of God and as the wisdom of God. Please go ahead and pray. Some like Lazarus would need to be called forth from one dimension to the other, from failure to victory, from defeat to success. But there are others who are already out. But you need to know how to remove the grave clothes. You need to know what to do. Go ahead and pray. Reveal yourself, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, reveal yourself. Are you praying as the wisdom of God they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course wisdom tells you what to do and it works closely with understanding that tells you how to do there is always something to do You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are powerful, so powerful in your ways. You are mighty, so mighty in your way. You are mighty, you're mighty in your way. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. Yahweh, 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 you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are mighty, you are mighty. I was very very humbled I always am broken when I hear of the sacrifices that people make for every service from as early as 8 9 10 there were people already here some of you have been here since morning inside outside everywhere enduring some of you have not even eaten just to encounter the God of heaven do you really believe that God will keep you that long just to share the grace and go back. No. Hello, him, Madonna. Hello, him, Madonna. Hello, him, Madonna. Hello, 
to start tonight with the sick i really want to minister to the sick listen let me tell you this the healing ministry is a very cardinal cardinal validator of the gospel the healing ministry remove the healing ministry from the gospel um you have reduced its potency by a very serious degree you read the bible everywhere the communication of the truth of the gospel everywhere you find the message of the gospel or the communication of the doctrine you find the healing ministry everywhere jesus is revealed you find the healing ministry please look up let me tell you something about the healing ministry why does god heal for many reasons one of them being that there is no human being who has been given the privilege of entering two bodies in a lifetime as benevolent as god is he can replace parts in the body but we do not have any record of anyone who le who left one whose spirit was extracted out of one body completely organs have been transplanted within the same organism everyone is given one body Per lifetime one body per lifetime satan knowing this you don't receive forgiveness only once you don't receive mercy only once but this body the moment you are born that body remains with you and if anything happens to that body you have lost your chance of continuity as far as the earth is concerned are we together there is no record in scripture and there is no record as we know in history science has not come close to extracting a human spirit out of a body and transferring it into another body the only person who wanted to do that was satan himself when he was looking for the body of moses when moses died he wanted his body so that a demon could enter that body and he will create a a false moses and michael stopped him and said the lord that means this is not is not permitted the lord rebuke you listen to me bodies matter ask satan what he was looking for in a dead body the body of moses moses had died and satan said i am still interested in the body so everything that afflicts you is ministering death in a measure to you satan's ultimate goal in sickness and affliction is to break help or help those under the anointing to deteriorate your body now listen i have taught you here that there is a threshold health condition for your spirit to live in your body when your body is broken and deteriorated beyond that level the spirit will no longer be able to stay and the spirit will have to live in a process called death even in resurrection the spirit still enters the same body the only time bodies will change is when the king himself makes that decree 
and this body will be changed from one that is corrupted to one incorruptible this is what the bible teaches us but that until then you have a responsibility to protect your body we protect our bank accounts more than our bodies we protect our cars a vehicle that can have an accident and you can save and buy another one but the one body most of us are using more than one cars multiple cars and you keep changing them even if nothing is wrong you are just tired of that body of a car you change another one but when this body goes bad so satan knows this everywhere God will take you is this body that will take your spirit so when Jesus heals he's making a very serious statement how does he heal by correcting faulty conditions medical doctors will tell us that a man is as healthy as his organs his tissues and Satan would start afflicting those things one by one we have all kinds of systems biology and medicine teaches us and most of us here it's possible that you have one medical report or the other that is threatening you an organ in your body some kind of condition i want you to believe to heal means to introduce the power of god like a drug listen you know medicine really teaches us how healing works when you pick a drug say you have headache and you pick paracetamol or anything you don't have to tell the drug where to go to your job is to swallow it is that true when you swallow it whatever happens at that point is none of your business again the drugs goes to your body and you know that the drug is working by looking out for changes in your body there are some of you when you swallow some drugs you start sweating you feel sleepy there are certain drugs they say eat before taking it they, are, you know, they give all kinds of conditions but when that drug enters your body it begins to walk the pharmacology of that drug has already been predetermined by those who those who have designed it yours is to swallow it and watch the wonder a tiny piece of whatever it is and you swallow and it begins to do all kinds of things and sometimes medicine has advanced now to encourage us when they want to market certain products they animate the way the drugs destroy those germs have you seen those kinds of things if they want to market soap they show children with germs on their faces and then they show the mother bathing the child and you watch what that soap the 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 you know the, what they call them now the active ingredients what it does to those germs that's the same way the anointing works when the anointing enters your body you don't have to say go to my head or go to my hand you're placing your hand there just as a point of contact for your own faith not to encourage the anointing the anointing knows what to do the anointing starts searching for what does not look like the garden of eden it goes to your head everything is fine it goes to your heart and finds out that the devil is trying to put a hole in your heart let me tell you what it does the same power that raised lazarus the same power that raised christ from the dead is administered to that body and listen there are times that certain bodily parts have been so deteriorated you will need a new one and a new one can come Lazarus had died for three days we're all intelligent people if you die for three days there's something called embalmment is that true and let me tell you the way they used to embalm people those days even if you are pretending you must die if they embalm you that way you, you saw how they tied the man if you are acting and, and playing games and they are done embalming you you must die they cover everywhere from head to toe so they, they, they cannot you can't doubt that lazarus died and yet you think that some of the organs had not packed up and failed blood was not flowing in that body and yet when the master said lazarus the same way in the name of jesus we are going to be making decrees now hear me when the word of the lord comes for your healing you have two responsibilities number one to believe in Jesus and to believe in the vessel that he's using number two to take a step of faith what is a step of faith 
actions of obedience the bible says as they went not when they wanted to go go and show yourself to the priest that was suicidal if they ever appeared before the priest leprous they would be banished forever as they went that means when the power of god comes if you couldn't walk you have to take a step of faith remember Acts chapter 3 silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus rise up and walk the bible says the man sat down and was watching and he held his hand and lifted him and he leaping stood if you lay your hands and they pray and you're just watching you most likely may not receive anything you receive by faith and you begin to check yourself it's a condition that you need to run to the medical stand to ask them to check you oh I, I came with hiv and the word has come i need to go there to check my blood pressure for instance is whatever over, over whatever the most important thing is that report is not good i need it change and once they pray you don't sit down and say i believe please check this for me you see let me tell you medicine and the supernatural were not designed to be enemies medicine confirms the supernatural that's why you don't fight doctors those who fight doctors to show that they are powerful are in ignorance doctors are symbols of god's mercy medicine if you are truly healed science will confirm it if you are healed of hiv or cancer or whatever it is um it is the medical confirmation that validates to us that the power of god has really come but to believe that the power of god cannot correct bodily conditions is to insult the resurrection power i'm ready to pray for the sick now we had such profound phenomenal miracles in just um yesterday particularly during the miracle service it was such a humbling move of the spirit of god you can do well to watch the video for your own personal edification i believe that it should be on our koinonia global page or so just watch it and learn it's not just to show that a man of god is powerful especially for those of you who are in ministry there's something about watching to see the power of god on display these are not some gimmicks that you're playing games no it's one thing to be healed at home and come and testify but it's another thing to testify real time are we together you can go to a shop for instance to buy popcorn the one they've made two days old three days old but there are people who will leave that one and they want the one that is popping there is an experience people love freshness this is why it's good that you receive testimonies and come and testify but there's something about the power of god on display real time it proves to people here and now that jesus is still alive are you ready now in one minute i'd like you to declare that any sickness within your body that is not of god any planting it must live right now and if you are standing for someone i know there are people watching in hospitals there are people watching by sick beds i want you to believe take your eyes away from the infirmity and pray
breathe upon rheumatoid arthritis breathe upon any and all cardiovascular issues breathe upon weakness in body breathe upon eye conditions breathe upon ear conditions breathe upon reproductive issues breathe upon digestive issues breathe upon respiratory issues breathe upon neurological issues in the name of Jesus Christ now please hear me I am going to pray there are so many people outside and all the overflows and thousands more following from across the globe give Jesus a chance Christ is about to be revealed as the power of God I believe in miracles I truly believe in miracles and right now I want to pray for you now listen don't start calculating and asking how will it happen just like that Mary asked that question already how shall these things be seen that I know not a man he said the power of the highest so the power of the highest is about to overshadow you and listen listen how the Holy Spirit got to the womb of Mary leave that to the intelligence of God that is the same way his power he does not need to open you with a surgical knife he can get to your systems your organs and correct things what is your own assignment to believe in Jesus as the healer to believe in his servant as the vessel and to take steps of faith so when I pray for you I want you to believe whether or not I mention your case you must believe from the depth of your heart and I'm going to ask you to check yourself and do what you could not do the moment you check yourself I'll be giving you a chance for those who have been healed everywhere inside and outside the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you if and when I ask you to come out I want you to come out don't be afraid the moment you find out that you can do now what you could not do before believe in Jesus take your eyes away from the sickness I learned this from Benny Hinn he said in, in all his years of crusading around the globe he found out that people who were focused on their infirmities would hardly get healed and so worship helps us to focus on Jesus and you take your eyes away from the bodily condition and the moment you look at Jesus you are changed into that which you are seeing place your hand now as an act of faith everywhere you are trusting God for a miracle you can stand in for someone I see people following from across the globe some of you are lifting pictures of loved ones some of you are standing in for families remember there are whole families with all kinds of conditions give Jesus a chance just help those under the anointing I'm about to pray right now and I'm praying in the name of Jesus so you can trust answers to this prayer lay your hands everywhere if it's your head lay your hands on your head if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and if you're fine and whole and there's nothing wrong with you you can stand in for someone absolutely the centurion stood in for his child Majesty, just keep your hand there. Your Majesty, your grace has found me just as I am, empty-handed but alive in your hand. Your Majesty, Majesty, forever I am changed by your love. In 
the presence of your Keep those hands there now. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. The healing power of Jesus is flowing. You are a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Shaba la sabrande geparatush kalibra hasia. One more time. You do mighty things. You do such healing streams in this place right now. Now in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God the one exalted today as Lord and Christ I rebuke the root cause of every infirmity I rebuke the root cause of every disease I rebuke the root cause of every plague in the name of Jesus Christ Every spirit, help those under the anointing. Every spirit of infirmity, every devil behind medical conditions, blindness, deafness, dumbness, blood conditions, allergies, in the name of Jesus and by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I banish you from these bodies right now in Jesus' name. Now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus be healed now 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 From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I bring you the life and power of Jesus be made whole right now in Jesus name every blind eye partial blindness or complete blindness you could not see well in the name of Jesus I command begin to see now every deaf ear your left ear or your right ear I declare the ears open right now in Jesus name every kind of allergy every kind of allergy around your body your skin i declare by the power that raised christ be healed now every growth in your body any part of your body at all i decree and declare be healed now the lord is ministering to me my god i'm hearing help that gentleman i'm hearing the word colon cancer colon cancer be healed right now in the name of jesus christ and i'm seeing someone follow this meeting you are following from federal medical center here in abuja the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord is healing someone of severe bleeding in the gum you have severe bleeding your gum the moment you go to brush you just find out that blood starts gushing out right now the power help them please the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ back pain the lord is healing back pain in the name of jesus everyone on wheelchair everyone on crutches using any kind of aid life to your limbs right now i declare begin to walk in the name of jesus everyone plagued by stroke partial paralysis and stroke probably they carried you in here in the name of jesus life to your body rise up and walk right now in the name of jesus christ there's someone you i don't know if is that you lost your sense of smell or you can't smell completely in the name of jesus let that sense be restored now 
I've seen God minister this case before that He's showing me. You are, you are a young lady, you are not pregnant, yet you are lactating. You are producing breast milk in the name of Jesus. The power of God is coming upon you right now. And I declare be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. The Lord is healing a condition. I'm seeing a vision and I'm seeing PID. This is what I'm seeing. It, whatever that means in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Now, the Lord is showing me a very interesting condition here. There is a woman, I'm not a doctor. Um, and, and of course it's not everything we say here there are people with different from different um, age ranges and all of that and then we're on air but there is something in your system that does not allow the seed to get to you to be pregnant I see that that seed dies even before it gets there because of a, a condition that you have right now the power of God I don't know where that person is right now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you can see the testimony of our dear sister who came here 22 months of carrying a child 22 months anything in your body that is not the planting of the Lord I flush it out right now now listen we are still praying it is it is still I'm still ministering healing but I'm seeing the power of God moving away I'm seeing at least this is at least 21 people from what I'm seeing there are objects that move physically you feel it in your body it begins to move sometimes from your leg down to various parts of your body this is not like you are dreaming physically you feel things moving the power of God is coming upon you right now at least 21 people be healed in the name of Jesus there is a gentleman here you came here as a stammerer you will marvel and wonder right now that stammering stops now that stammering stops now now I don't know I'm seeing someone I don't know if he's in this you know this vicinity but you have like a tumor in your brain a tumor that means something is growing that is, is a tumor like it's, it's cancerous in your brain I don't know if you are following online but in the name of Jesus I want you to release your faith I bring you life be healed now be healed now I'm seeing someone in the overflow outside the overflow outside you are beginning to have symptoms it's like urinary problems but it's not really a urinary, urinary problem from what God is revealing to me this is the early stage of prostrate prostrates that prostrate cancer like it happens to men this is what God is telling me outside in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now I'm seeing a woman that takes in you get you actually get pregnant but it never crosses the third month by the third month a spirit comes to you you will have a dream and see either a human being or an animal chasing you or you will see yourself bleeding and you wake up physically bleeding help them please in the name of Jesus Christ I command that devil to let you go now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a man you go to ease yourself and you're urinating blood I don't know what that condition is but you're urinating blood in the name of Jesus right now as I'm praying for you may the power of God touch you now thank you for watching like our videos share and subscribe thank you